Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Be interactive with us guys. Here in this session, we are going to discuss a very important MCQ session on your demand. The topic is our programming and let's start first part of it. The question number one is which of the following will start the R program? Basically, for starting R programming, what you are going to see which of the following will start? So basically the tag is dollar and R. This indicates the starting of R program. So the option A is the correct answer. Question number two is, what is the correct syntax to output hello world in R? So in R programming, if you want to print hello world, what is the correct syntax? So basically if you are going to observe option A, hello world, Definitely it will work. Option B, this hello world under double quotes. It is also going to work. And print hello world double quotes. It is also going to work. That is why option D is most suitable option here. Question number three is, if a command is not complete at the end of a line, R will give a different prompt. By default, it is what? So basically, if command is not completed at the end of line, then by default, R is going to give the prompt, the different prompt. By default, it is addition sign plus symbol. That is option C. Okay. So option C is the correct answer for it. Question number four is, how many atomic vector types does R do? So basically, if we talk about R program, then our programming language basically have a logical vector. You can simply say that one more here that is integer. We can have one more that is real. We may have one more that is called as complex. And we may have we a string and we may have one that is called as raw. Right. So basically, majorly, or you can say that. Our programming basically have six type of atomic vector types. And these are that six types, right? So option B is the correct answer. Okay, next question is, which of the following is not an object of R? So basically, uh, calls, expressions, strings, and names. So basically, calls, expression, and string. Calls, expression, and strings, right? So call is object of R. Expression is object of R and names are also object of R, but string is not an object because here not is asked. String is not an object of R. So the option C is the correct answer here. And question number six is which function is used to watch for all available packages like So if we want to check out all the available packages that is existed in the library we can go for the command that is library, this command, option D, right? Question number seven, what will be the output of following R code? So here we are using option and uh, we are using digits equals to 16 and 20 divided by six. So basically, if we talk about it, this under option field, if we are using digit six, and it means that by default, you can consider 20 divided six, it is a repetitive in nature, right? Six threes are 18. Then again, two, you are going to take zero as a remainder. Then again, three, three, three. So this digit equals 16, which is assigned inside this option, indicates that up to 16, it is kind of precision factor. So up to 16 digits you need to uh, mention, right? So obviously, option D is the correct answer. These are 16 digit precision, right? Which is defined under options in our programming. Question number eight is, what is the meaning of this? Basically, this is called as assignment operator, right? This is called as assignment. This is used for assignment inside our programming. So option D is the correct answer. Question number nine is, which function is used to automatically vectorize? So basically, for automatically vectorize, we use MAPLI, right? So option C is the correct answer. MAPLI is the correct Keyword correct function that we use for automatically vectorizing our program. And question number 10 is which function is used to find the amount 
of rows and columns in an array. So basically, if in an array we want to find out the amount of rows and amount of columns, the command is dim. Right. This is the command that is used to find out the rows and number of columns. Right. Dimension. Basically, dimension. So option A is the correct answer. I hope the first 10 questions are very much clear to all of you. Guys, do respond it. If you really need some more MCQs, do comment and be interactive with us so that we can come up with more important MCQs that is going to be helpful for you. And further, if you are having any doubt or any query here, please feel free to ask. And you can give your very valuable suggestions to us also. Thank you so much, guys. Please stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.